Hi, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> today we are here because <laughs> I don't know, today we wanted to do a video where we didn't have to like go outside, so we thought, what can we do? We can order Postmates. What have we not tried here in New York, which I haven't, which yeah. is boba. I've had boba back in Atlanta, but just like a classic milk tea. I think I've had one coffee. What have you had? Just like. Well, I had a boba in Atlanta that was like a, something sweet, like tea with like some yeah, bubbles in tea. it. And then I did have one in Brooklyn that was like not oh, a classic. I forgot about that. Not a classic beverage, and it was like super interesting. So Haley was like, "Why don't we get adventurous today and post made some boba tea?" Yeah, I follow and watch Colleen's vlogs, hey, and the other day she did where she has like had boba before, but she hasn't had a bunch of flavors, so she ordered a bunch. So we post made it. Teas. One is literally upside down. We oh. got a bunch. It's from a place called Vivi Bubble Tea. <laughs> it is from the East Village. We got a few. So I'm trying to, like, I have the menu here. This one is Blue Galaxy. Ooh. I'm really unsure of what it is. We got a matcha, just a plain matcha. Also, like, I thought it had a photo on it. Oh, it's, like, here. Oh. I love that they're, like, enclosed. Um, we got... A, I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think that's this is the passion, passion fruit. fruit. Oh yeah, it says it on it. I'm silly. Passion fruit with like a passion fruit balls. Mm -hmm. Then this is almond, the almond, milk. almond milk one. With balls also. And then just a classic bubble tea. And then of course, some fun straws. So let's try one at a time. Which one do you want to try? Should we start with like a classic bubble tea? Oh, also, I don't know if it's like in general or like this specific place, but everything was dairy free. Like any tea, any milk thing, like said dairy free milk. So. And if you don't know, Chen can't have dairy. That was why I said that. Yeah. Okay, so. so this is the classic one. Classic with, bubble tea with which is, regular yeah. tapioca balls. And as you all know, it's just like black tea, milk. Ooh. I mean, delicious. <laughs> is it? It tastes like, I feel like you can't mess this one up. This is like a classic. It's just really good. It's just like a classic. I love black tea with like milk. Mm. Not a fan. This is what I've had before and that's like my go-to. It's like classic. Okay, the bubbles are not what I thought. I thought these were like the popping ones. Okay, so regular boba is tapioca, which are these black balls where it's mm. dense and whatever. You're thinking of like these, which are literally called popping balls, which are like the skin oh. with the juice on the inside. Okay, well, as far as flavor goes, like of the actual drink, I love it. I'm saving that for later. You're not going to get any more. Okay. This one's the matcha one. No balls. Okay. Yes, stir the bottom. It looks like there was like a, maybe like a matcha powder. Oh, that's nice. That's very light. It's a very nice light matcha flavor. Yeah, it's nice. I do taste like the powder in my mouth. At first it's like sweet, but then it kind of does have more like that. Like grass taste after. <laughs> that's matcha. Agree? I think that's just matcha in general, but I think that's one of the better matchas that I've had. Like, yeah, it's not that's not bitter. Homemade. Yeah, just not your cup of tea or cup of matcha. <laughs> it's nice, but I don't know if it's like what I. I don't know. I know. I think it have to very much be in like this mood. Yeah. Because like the aftertaste is very like green juicy to mm -hmm. me, which is not my Should favorite. Should we give them a rating out of out of five boba balls? <laughs> five boba balls. I give this one five boba balls. I give it a <laughs> boba balls. Boba I give balls. it a three and a half. Only because there's one stuck in the top. <laughs> I gave it a three and a half only because I the balls are just not what I expected. But the drink flavor. I'm surprised you didn't know point. that this is what it was. I was confused. Mm, but okay, so one. five, three and a half. Next, this one. So for matcha, I'd give it three because I didn't hate it and I could see myself ordering if yeah. I was in that mood. I give it a four. I liked it that matcha. I've had pretty gross matchas outside of like my own home, so that I was really pleased yeah. with that one. So it was nice. Moving on. Uh, I feel like this is passion fruit, which is that, like Chen was like. Very specific. Yeah, I like wanted the flavor one. of passion fruit, and I got the like popping balls in the bottom. So that's what she thought boba yeah. balls were. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's very. I don't really know what passion fruit tastes like. It's like that. That's what passion fruit tastes like. That is on point. This is passion fruit. That's delicious. It's really nice. It's refreshing. It's a little. If this is what passion fruit is without. I don't know if there's like sugar in here. I'm sure there is. There's a little bit of sugar in there. But passion fruit is pretty sweet. Honestly. Yeah. This is not my like cup of tea. I love <laughs> fruit and stuff, but it's nice. I can't say this would would like refresh me. What's um, your rating? And these balls are not the kind that I like. I prefer mm, the tapioca. Okay, okay. I don't necessarily like the poppy ones. Mm. This I'd give like a two. It's good. It's just like I don't like that like super 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 sweet. I think it would just make me feel nauseous. No, I get that. I would give this a five because this is like so what I would drink. And so it's what exactly... you're saying is after this video, this can be gone in one sip. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
But this is exactly what I would get on like a hot Love summer it. day. Love it. Okay, next one. This is the almond milk tea. So it does have the tapioca boba balls. And then I guess just, I don't know what kind of tea it is. Maybe they use some kind of milk for the other ones. And this one specifically, like watch this. This one might be classic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It's good because at first I was like, oh, it's for sure black tea, but it tastes like an almond macaroon or macaron. Oh, God. It's really nice. It's just very, like, I wasn't expecting that flavor. Like, I thought it was just going to be, like, classic mm. bubble tea. I do like this one. And it tastes like if you've ever had, like, an almond-flavored dessert, it's, mm -hmm. like, that very, like, sweet taste. So that's what it tastes like. So if you ever had an almond macaroon, it tastes, like, literally, like, that would I give it a four. Even the balls. The balls just really throw me off, but the flavor of that is delightful. I give it a four. I don't know. I give it taste wise, yeah, it's like a four out of a five. I can't say I'd order it for myself to drink because it's like very sweet, unless I was like, I want to drink my dessert tonight. <laughs> um, it'd be this. But it's a very interesting flavor. Yeah. But I also don't have a lot of almond flavored desserts, but it, that's what it is. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. It's delightful. It's nice. All right. Moving on, last one. What is this called, Haley? This is called the Blue Galaxy. Oh, and I think it had maybe a few teas. It also it looks like maybe like passion fruit, lemonade, something blue. They said on the thing to mix this up. And there's so boba well. balls and then mango popping. Balls. And I think there's a lime in here. There is. <laughs> Alright, let's mix this up. Oh, I guess I guess you can mix it up because it's like there's some jelly in there. It's like a lava lamp. There's definitely some syrup. I can see it like. Mmm. There's like ice, like crushed ice in here that I wasn't expecting. I like that. It's very sweet. There's just so many colors happening. <laughs> Didn't the ice really throw you for a loop? Yeah, it's like a slushy. Definitely lemonade is in here. Lime, like a limeade. As in what other flavors? I I it's like really it. good. It's like very more of a strong lime. What strategy you use? Yeah, it's definitely like limeade, lemonade. I don't know what tea is in there. It's very sweet. It's very sweet, but like tart. That is refreshing mm -hmm. with ice. I think I'd want, I'd prefer this over the passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Out of like, I don't, I don't even know what to rate it because it's so yeah. kind of outlandish. I give it a four. I'm going to say three. Okay. Boba balls out of five. It's like good, but I don't really know what's happening inside of it. Blue Galaxy is a caffeine free herbal tea and it tastes like lychee lemonade. That's, that's what it says. Well, there you go. Yep. Yeah, that's, I was right on answer. Lemonade. But anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> This was nice. It's definitely like I will what I've always seen this place. I've always walked past it. I'll definitely want to like order from it. Um, I definitely am we're gonna order the classic milk tea. That's what you get again. Again. I feel like I would get that and then if I'm ever feeling it, the green tea. And I think that's what it would be. Or if it's like really hot, I might get like a flavored tea, but I wouldn't get passion fruit and I wouldn't get this blue one. I'd probably just get if they had plain. Yeah, if they had like black tea lemonade iced. That's like my go-to. What about you? Would you order again? I really like this one. Like just a plain, I feel like it's not plain, but it's just a basic well, tea. Well, it's just no extra flavor. Yeah, and I like the like popping bobas because I'm, I'm confused. Mm. So I would get this again, especially on like a really hot day. And I feel like I also would prefer this over like a Starbucks tea. Sorry, ladies. Just because I feel like it's like unique and refreshing. Um, and then I think if, if I'm like wanting something more like thicker, I feel like I would do the almond. But maybe just without the bobas. Like, I feel like I just kind of enjoy the beverage, but it yeah. is very sweet. And what I meant to say earlier was you can customize every drink, like ice wise, sweetness wise, um, well, that's all like wise. Every yeah, totally. So place. you could get a little bit on, like less sweet or more ice or more balls or less I like balls. I like to go 100% so. on everything. Yeah. So maybe I would get this again, but I would ask for a little bit less sweetness just because it is very sweet. But it could just be the flavor though. That's true. The only thing I've ever mm. had that tastes just like it is that one time we got macarons. Yeah, it does taste like an almond macaroon. What other things are almond flavored, like croissants? <laughs> well, look at the almond croissant. I don't know. This was really nice though. I feel like that was a successful like little fun morning thing to do. Now we just have a lot of beverages. What are we gonna do with all these drinks now? You know what I'm saying. Max can drink one. I'm definitely gonna drink this one. I'll drink this one. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Ma. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> so, where are these teas? <laughs> I want you to try this one. What do you think? I've never actually had a boba tea. Okay, well, well, that one's just like um, a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Was it an exploding one? Can you chew them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can draw a hole, but. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It's like refreshing, but. Yeah.